Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, we're going to continue Helm's Deep. I was overcome by the orcs. And Let's see what's going on here. My heroic friend, Gimli the Dwarf. The orcs at the gate had feigned death, and as I passed by with Aragorn, they leapt onto me, dragging me to the stones. I was overcome by their grasping arms, and would have perished were it not for the heroic friend here. I speak of Gimli, the staunchest dwarf I have ever met. I did not know that he was with us in battle. But at my time of need, he charged from the shadows and filled the orcs that pinned me. Speak with him and see if there's anything he lacks, and it will be his. When Eomer ran afoul of the orcs, I could not stand idle. I followed Eomer and Aragorn, not for hope of glory, but only to shake the sleep from my eyes. The wild men seemed rather too large for me, so I sat beside a stone and watched their swordplay. When Eomer ran afoul of the orcs, I could not stand idle. If he wishes to repay me for my favor, I'm certain he will have the opportunity enough as the night progresses. My count now is two. I must tell Legolas and see how he cares. But he is a fighter. That minstrel of the kings, the one who traveled with you for a time, Leowine? You should find him and tell him how the battle progresses. He will need to make a song of this if we survive the night. Make certain that he knows how I saved Elmer by the causeway. It would be a great shame if he did not include a verse or three about that. Good old Gimli. He has a lot of personality for sure. How goes the battle? It is said that the finest warriors can tell the number and strength of an enemy force simply by listening to the sound of their cries and their weapons. But it is not so with me. I am no warrior, and to me the sound of battle is a tumult without meaning. The barrel of swords got knocked over in confusion. Could you take some time to set it back upright? Then you should enter the Hornburg and speak with Theoden Master. So interacting with the tipped over barrel near Gleowine will allow time to pass. Action will resume in the hours before dawn with the next onslaught of the enemy. Very cool. Set the barrel upright and replace the fallen weapons where they belong. So, Theoden is inside the Hornburg. Let's see if I can figure out how to get in there. I think I need to go up through there. If I'm not mistaken. Wears on. The enemy shows no sign of lending. We have lost many men on the wall, but for each loss we claim a dozen enemy lives. This is not a favorable exchange for us, Kippen, though it speaks well of our fighting prowess. We will run out of defenders well before Saruman's forces tire of the fight. We must defend the deep, rally our soldiers, and fight back for as long as you are able. So again, there is the story tale and then the epic version. So I'm definitely going to be doing the storied version here. Okay. Very good. I cannot leave the king's side, nor would I. But we have need of swords in the Deeping Coombe, Kippen. Go there, Gorn, and keep the orcs from passing through the hole in the wall. It may have brought more than blasting the vices with them. The fire of Orthanc has broken the wall. To arms! To arms! Defend the Coombe! Alright, so we're... Trying to figure out where we are. So we're on the battlefield. Past the wall here. There's the wall. Okay, I've, I know where I am now. Alright. Saruman has used some foul craft to destroy part of the deeping wall, and the coom lies undefended before his forces. Orcs and Dunlindings alike pour through the hole, wielding sword and axe. But I count other of their weapons more deadly. Some of the foes carry devices bedecked with lit fuses. The black powder contained within is harmless on its own, but causes a tremendous explosion when set of flame. Did one of those destroy the wall? Slay our foes on this side of the wall, Kippen, and extinguish the fuses of any lit devices you encounter. Good luck, Kippen. I 
am I doing? I am killing a bunch of enemies. I got defuse four bombs. Black powder within has been rendered harmless. Use one more and kill five more enemies. Alright, I think that's all of them, and then this should be the last one. Extinguish more black powder devices near the hole in the peeping wall. Was where? Can't remember. Oh, there it is. I was right by it already. Kippin. Igloff is injured and needs your help. Thank you, friend. Oh, I have to escort him. This has turned into an escort. I fell from the wall during the blast. I survived, but others were not so fortunate. The upgrade to my critical rating with my new legendary weapon is really helping. The fighting rage is on, but for what? Can we hope to win? I'm hitting a lot of criticals, I noticed. Over there! Friendly face? Aragorn. Or no, it's Lothgob. Oh, you there. I should have known to see you here, Kippen. For heroes such as you are often countered where fighting is thickest and the need most passing. So it is with the Riders 4. Who is this injured man? Igloff, you say. Come with us, my friend. If your leg allows you to stand, you may find a moment's respite within the mill and take the chance to bind your wounds. Kip and I will bring you to my captain and the others. There will be deeds of valor to perform on this night. Enough for the riders four and more beside. I do not doubt. This way. Utha, what news? Another group p makes past the mill, Loaf Dog. Riders four, prepare yourselves. Stand with us, Kippen. To me. Ah, that AOE was useless. I guess these are automated. I thought there were enemies too. Troll of Doom. Uh, I'm screwing up all my gambits. It's alright. We survived. For honor and glory. The riders, four and friend, have achieved their victory. The victory is ours and the night has not yet ended. There will be plenty of time for more deeds of valor, my friend. Uh, do not worry yourself on our account. The Riders 4 have seen worse scrapes than this, and I deem that you have as well. Take care of yourself, Kippen and Theoden King. We will defend Rohan to the very last. Finish the Deeping Coom. I 
have still not found Gimli. But I heard tell that he might have been pushed back to the glittering caves during the fighting. He is a staunch fellow, but the fighting is very heavy around the caves. I know that Gimli can handle himself in battle, but still I worry for him. So that's going to do it for this episode. I know these are a little bit shorter, but it's just easier to segment them one per video. Honestly, I almost regret doing that. I feel like I should have just done it all in one big super long video. I think that would have been more fun, especially because I think it would have lined up with episode 700, which is a nice milestone. But anyways, the decision has already been made. See you next time on the next episode.